uh, police station. That was the you know nearest jurisdiction. Matu was alone at home on uh, January 23rd, 1996, when she was raped by Santosh and then killed. Afterwards, the case was transferred uh, to CBI in 1996. The High Court awarded him death penalty, which was later granted life imprisonment by Supreme Court uh, in uh, December, you know, 2010. Now, continuing, I will just show that internationally, you know, expert testimony basically is considered very worth of, you know, importance in the courts. Uh, in the case, Ramesh Chandra Agarwal vs. Regency Hospital Limited 2009, here the Supreme Court stated that first and foremost requirement for expert evidence is to be uh, to be admissible is that it is necessary to hear the expert evidence. Test is that the matter is outside the knowledge and experience of the layman. Now, coming down to international standards, we are referring to Dauber standards. There is a case Dauber versus Merrill Dow Pharmaceuticals, which held in 1993 that Rule 702 of the Federal Rules of Evidence did not incorporate the Fry General Acceptance Test as a basis for assessing the admissibility of scientific expert testimony. Uh, so the criteria is whether the theory or technique uh, employed by the expert is generally accepted in the scientific community, whether it has been subjected to peer review and publication, whether it can be uh, and can be tested, whether the known or potential rate of error is acceptable. Now uh, I can just refer to one of the cases, Colin Pichko case uh, on November 21st, 1983, Linda, a girl of 15 years, was found murdered. The body was discovered one day after the killing. She had been raped and strangled with her own scarf. Police employed over 100 uh, investigators and interrogated everybody in the locality, but the killer was not discovered. On July 31, 1996, another girl uh, uh, also disappeared and again found raped and all that. So that was the first case where DNA fingerprinting was being used. Only 250 men who had left the area since the occurrence remained for screening. Then a person in a pub said that he had personated for his friend in the mass screening for the killer. Police at once interrogated the personator and reached the culprit, Colin Pitchfork, a 27 years old baker. His blood tests, including DNA profile, indicated that he was rapist and murderer of the two girls, Linda and Dawn. He was sentenced to two terms of life imprisonment uh, for the crimes. So, you know, 